What's going on world? Brand new episode of Royal Key there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here with Coach Holiday of Oklahoma State Baseball. Coach, how you doing, man? Welcome. Good yeah. to have you here. Thank you, thank you. Now, describing this area, I've heard it called a training triangle. This area is very open. It has a lot going on. Tell me where we are and, and the functionality of where we are. So we're in the, kind of the left field corner of the facility. And when we laid out the design of this facility, our first focus was on how to train the players. We wanted to try to build an area where a player could go train his offense, his defense, his body, his mind, and do so in a convenient way where everything he needs is in one location. As you can see, we have 600 foot long cages that are 25 feet high. We built them super tall so the hitter gets the benefit of watching the ball travel once he hits it. We have six of them, so we have plenty of space. That way our whole roster could essentially be in here working in pairs and, and constantly be active, which is something we wanted as well. We can use uh, various machines to work on hitting fastballs, breaking balls, both right and left-handed, which is a huge part of the game, is building the skill set to handle the pitch as it moves in different angles. We have hit tracks here in cage one, so guys can hit the ball and learn about what the ball's doing after they hit it. We have other baseball technology that we implement into the training. So this space right here was kind of designed for the, the daily work of a hitter, the daily development of the swing, a place to get ready to compete, and just a great area to work on your craft. We designed it where these big doors open up and provide like a direct flow right out here onto the practice field. So on any given day, you'll see guys doing their band work over there on the wall, working on early work here, ground ball defense, bunting in the cage, using tees and flips and machines and really starting to get the day started. So when we do hit the actual game field, a lot of our technique driven stuff and a lot of our work is done. This area has been super beneficial to us. Our pitchers use it every single day to get great amount of long toss in. And then right off of that, we have our weight room, which gives us instant access to anything we need to do right in the flow of practice. So if a pitcher gets done throwing a bullpen and doing some of his work, he can jump right into the weight room and do whatever's on his schedule for that day. And it keeps the day moving. The physical side of this, the skill side of this, and the team side of this all factors together and gives us a really nice practice dynamic. This synthetic turf surface here, it's very uh, much like we play when we go on the road, say at Kansas State, Texas Tech, University of Texas has synthetic turf, West Virginia, synthetic turf down in Norman at OU. So synthetic turf and, and, and the main diamond has become pretty common now in cold weather areas just to offset the, the issues caused by rain or snow or temperature. So I know there's, there's a lot of schools that still have a natural grass main diamond like we do, uh, Baylor, ourselves, TCU and the Big 12 but there's a lot of colleges shifting to synthetic turf. It's just becoming a really functional way to build your fields. One of our goals for our team and our program is to have really healthy, strong, physical players. First and foremost, keeping players healthy and on the field is the first element of a great design program. Secondly, we wanna be strong and powerful because the game has become about power and speed. And this room is a super important part of building our team and keeping our players healthy and also developing our players physically from the time they enter to the time they leave. So um, there'll be a brand new floor and weight equipment here. We uh, are still kind of recovering from the pandemic. And then this room will really take on a whole new life of itself. We have a full-time strength coach in Wes Alm who's with our guys the entire year, specializing in the movements of baseball. Uh, individualized programming for our players based on their own needs. Coach Holiday, it's obvious that this is a special place. Everyone doesn't get a chance to throw out a ceremonial pitch, and you guys had someone very special. We did, yeah. President Bush was kind enough to come kind of give us a true grand opening and throw out the first pitch against New Orleans. He's Mr. Cecil Obrate's dear friend, and uh, Mr. Obrate's name being on the stadium, we wanted to have a first pitch that would really pay tribute to this facility. The doors were open for all of our fans to attend, and President Bush coming with his uh, his guests was a lot of fun for us. This first level of O'Brien Stadium is all player amenities, all designed to house the guys, take care of the guys. Coming up upon our locker room, as you walk in, you see we have uh, 40 lockers for our, our squad. Just a super bright, clean environment in here to walk in and see your teammates and listen to some music, play some video games. Mr. Obrate's name and lights in the ceiling is a reminder that everything we do, uh, we should sign our work with excellence, much like he did for us to give us this gift. This is a great space for the guys. As I tell them, it's their locker room. Treat this like it's your house. Take care of it, appreciate it, because we're very lucky to have a, a wonderful place to call home. Now, Coach, did I see the uh, individual locker lights come on when we walked in here? Yeah, all the lighting is uh, sensitive to motion. 
And so uh, that nice mood of when you walk in, the whole place just turns itself on like that, just to kind of show you that it's time to get to work. If you're not having a good day or you're not in the mindset you need to be in when you walk in, hopefully that lights a reminder that it's time to get locked in. So I'm gonna be honest, Coach, uh, we've done a lot of uh, basketball, football, uh, a lot of different sports. This might be one of the cleanest locker rooms we've seen of any sport. Well, I appreciate that. We're, we're very proud of it. This is a dream come true facility. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to be part of building something new and spectacular for this program, for the kids that are inside it, not only now, but in the future. And uh, we know we're lucky. And so we don't take any of this for granted. And uh, we're gonna take great care of this gift and make sure that we pass it on after generation after generation that that next wave of Cowboys are coming into a facility that's been well cared for. Really, really ideal flow into our training room where we spend a lot of time prehabbing and on occasion rehabbing. Eli Williams, our athletic trainer, going on his 10th season. He has a three tables plus a table where he can work on some guys with some massaging and cupping. And then right on the other side of this glass here, we have three really, really nice therapy pools. Typically two are cold and one is hot, so guys can come in and soak, take care of their bodies and recover from the, the work they've done and also get loose each day to kind of prepare for what lies ahead. This room was super important in the design. Right off of this room, we go right on the practice field. So this classroom is designed to create a teaching space where our players and coaches can sit down, one, have a great chance to communicate in a good environment, two, have a, a room with video capability to take advantage of all the modern video and learning tools that we have. There's more video available now than ever. So to use it with the guys in doses is really helpful. They can watch their swings, they can watch themselves pitch, they can come in and study the opponent. So there's a lot of benefit to having a room like this and having the technology you need to learn. It's a great place to come in and hear somebody speak and uh, just as a team to gather, to talk about the practice plan, talk about things that are relevant and what's going on on campus. Before the guys hit the field, they'll come out of the locker room and they'll go into our mud room, grab any of their rough-edged equipment, their cleats, their helmets, their bats, things that uh, we want to keep out of the main locker room so we keep that really clean and smelling great. So here's where we'll store all our shoes, catching gear, bats, the pine tar, some of the fun outdoor stuff, we'll keep it out of there. And then from here, I'll take you down the tunnel. Make it happen is Mr. O'Brate's motto. We thought it was pretty appropriate that uh, that serve as a daily reminder to go out on the field and, and do the things necessary to make it happen. And obviously the College World Series in Omaha is our goal. So it's a very direct, simple reminder of the expectation here. Come on down the walkway here. It's an absolutely beautiful, state-of-the-art dirt and grass surface field, but you're walking into one of the most unique settings in college baseball. Our diehard season ticket holders will be found sitting in these orange chairback seats. I wanna say around 3,500 chairback seats. Second deck seating, luxury seating up top, another thousand or so club seats and seats available up in those suites. So the second level luxury seating is definitely something our fans are enjoying. And then you look out across, you see these really cool outdoor suites in the outfield where fans can come in with large groups and cook and barbecue. It's a 360 degree concourse. You can walk the whole facility and never take your eye off the ball. We have a unique batter's eye and that it is a glass see-through batter's eye. So you can come in that center field gate and your first look upon the stadium takes you right through it. It has a feel of, of a professional stadium and that it's grand and two story and all those things, but it also feels like a ballpark because the people are right on top of you and our fans are very close to the action. Uh, you can see and hear everything. So it's got a little bit of both. Describe the culture you're building here and you want to continue to build it. Well, it's all about the players. It always has been. And we want to get the right players. We want to get players that want to be great at baseball, that want to play professionally and have careers in the major leagues. But that being said, we also want guys that value education, that realize that college and the college experience is once in a lifetime, special time in your life that you want to uh, really maximize both the baseball experience and the personal experience. And that's, that's school. That's growing as a person. It's the friends you meet the people that you come across that end up becoming a part of your life for many years to come. So I, I would think culturally we want this to be an all-inclusive experience that grows every ounce of our players, not just the baseball player, but uh, the person, the student. And, and I ask them all to form a vision of when baseball comes to an end, tell me what your next uh, dream job is. And let's, uh, let's not lose sight of that second dream job. Awesome, awesome. Well, Coach, we appreciate it. Yeah, thank you thank for letting you. us come and check out this awesome facility. I mean, it's amazing. We're lucky. Mr. O'Bray, his family, and uh, many, many other generous people that gave to this project, they gave us our dream house. And we get to we get to come hang out here every day. Shout out to our partners at The Game Day. The Game Day is a new sports and sports betting media company built for today's fan. Check out the link in our bio 
and on our community tab for all their great content. And head to their website at thegameday.com for the latest sportsbook promos, betting tips, expert picks, and sportsbook app reviews.